We're taking a walk today in our neighborhood and going down the hill together with uh, kids. So we want to show you around. This is how it looks from uh, from our house. There we see. There's a church, and we're going down the hill. There. The land here is covered pretty much with rocks and nothing much is growing here. So, as you see, and down from the hill you can see there's more uh, green. So I guess that's where the water, water is. Here we are approaching some abandoned building, which is kind of nice. Here are neighborhood houses, where our house is just there. There's our house, and this is our neighbors. You see, um, the house itself, it's uh, built from mud, uh, which is mixed with the water. And uh, there in the corner, you see, that is a bathroom. Uh, here it is from a different angle. The house, a window. Which is kind of closed. And yeah, there you see a bathroom. You know what? I will stop complaining about the stuff I don't have. Wow. It's amazing. another house and they are all are built uh, pretty the same there's a small bathroom and the house this house is like a fancy house you see it has a fence and they also have a water tank if you see it, the black one there Hey, and uh, this is a uh, yeah more advanced. It has a, st uh, a stone around the house. So. And there is uh, on the house there is a electricity box uh, as well. That's good. So they have electricity. So. Most of the houses are pretty much the same. Uh, only difference is uh, if people can afford, who have uh, some more money, then they, uh, you can see that their houses are more, more developed. Because uh, now, when the rainy season comes, the houses are built from uh, from uh, mud. Uh, they are falling apart and it's then they have uh, to repair them and so on yes. yes and as you see they are preparing for the rainy season and they will uh, plant a maize They all do that. Mm. 
There's another small plot prepared for planting. There's another house. And um, usually they also have another building for a kitchen. But here a kitchen is outside. This small small uh, oven if you see this. Right there. Somebody who wants to greet Muzungus. Oh, he's a peeless. Hey, look white. And you see the animals are walking freely here. They're not fenced or anything sheep and chicken. It's just, they're just outside. And in the evening they get back to their own homes. And people who can afford it and uh, who wants more privacy, they make fences like this. So nobody from outside can see inside they home like us <laughs> walking around spying This is an oven. Yeah. Uh, this is something rather traditional. Uh, something which you got to put firewood like this one. Yes, you just arrange firewood during the rainy season. Yeah. You can use it because when the, uh, during the rainy season, firewood is is, uh, is uh, so wet it cannot light. So we just put here. Yeah, yeah. just cannot. Uh, this is a traditional chico. This is an oven. It can keep uh, wa food warm, mm. you know, mm -hmm. just to put, just to come and test it, the temperature is very high, you know, Ooh. you yes. know, <laughs> yes. yeah, this is an oven, African oven, mm -hmm. yes, you know, so to make food warm. <laughs> 